Morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the seventh week of Easter. We celebrate the feast of St. Matthias. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. You know, as we go through salvation history, it points out a lot of people that have really done God's work in this world. So as we begin, let's reflect on those people that have touched our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant that through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it. May another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus, came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord, the Lord, Lord will give, give him, him a seat, seat with, with the, the leaders, leaders of his, his people. people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord, the Lord will, will give, give him a seat, seat with, with the, the leaders, leaders of, of his people. people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord, the Lord will, will give him a seat with, with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord, the Lord will, will give him a seat with, with the leaders, leaders of, of his people. people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be complete in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay one's life down for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whenever you ask the father in my name, he will give you. This is my command to you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. So today we celebrate the Feast of St. Matthias. And, you know, St. Matthias was with the disciples from the beginning, but he wasn't one of the 12. So after the Judas betrayal and Judas committed suicide, there was only 11 left. And it was really important for the disciples to get that 12th person, that 12th number, 12 tribes of Israel. It was really important. So they had to decide how they were going to fill that slot fill that vacant disciple spot. So they thought about it. They wanted someone who was there from the beginning. They wanted someone who was with them. They prayed about it. They thought about it. They finally said, let's cast lots for it. So I think the lot fell on Matthias and he came in and filled in and he was one of the disciples. So as I thought about that, I thought about how do we make our decision processes? How do we decide things when we have a big decision to make in our lives, in our home lives, in our work lives? Do we lay out the ground rules like the disciples did? They wanted someone who was with them from the beginning. They prayed about it. Do we pray about our decisions? 
Finally, they even cast lots to try to whittle down how they made their decision. So think about how you make your decisions. That important slot, that important thing to pray about it, I think is really the thing that goes without saying that's the most important part. Lay out the ground rules and pray about it so you make that better decision to align yourselves to the will of God. So reflect upon that, my brothers and sisters. God bless. Now let us turn to the Father with these petitions. For our church, may it always be a community of love, mercy, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our entire world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling, may they be transformed by our risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from any sicknesses, may Almighty God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we this bread to give you what your earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May, May the Lord, Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good, good of God's, God's holy church. church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently present for the feast of St. Matthias, that through them strengthened us by his power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your with spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It, it is, is right and just. Father, you, the eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead in the name of your Son. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your we death, O Lord, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Jean Tchaikovsky and Rosemary Timmick, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, to fill your family with divine gifts that through the blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the saints in light through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.